underscore how much the governor wanted to be here, and I know he was planning on it and had some last minute business that took him away. I'd like to congratulate and thank all of you who are here today. Did you say, Karen, there were 16 different organizations that are represented here, or, and, and perhaps more? Thank you for what you do. Thank you for your service to our community. I think it's fitting that we are acknowledging the contributions of the Chinese American community here in our capital. This is the house of our legislators, it's the house of our governor, but most importantly, it's the house of the people. It's your house. And particularly in this rotunda, as I look down at these pillars and columns, one of the symbols um, that strikes me is the strength of these pillars, I believe, represents the strength of many different communities, including the Chinese American community. And as people have alluded to, unfortunately, in our history books, the contributions of these brave Chinese laborers have largely been forgotten and, and unacknowledged. Again, I think that's unfortunate, and I'm glad that there's an opportunity to help us remember the courage and the fortitude and the, and the hard work that they put forth to help, I think, conquer some of the most grueling terrain and topography in the West. Uh, it's a significant part of our American history and our state history, and we want to make sure that the contributions of the Chinese American community and those, those early Chinese laborers are properly recognized. Uh, I want to also acknowledge that it's that same spirit of accomplishment, drive for success, that same fortitude that has allowed the Chinese American community since then and up until this present day to flourish here in the state of Utah. And if you look at, at the successes that the Chinese American community has had in the small business community, in education, in the legal and medical fields, I think it's the same spirit that was embodied by these early Chinese laborers. And, and you can't only measure the contributions of the community, the Chinese American community, in terms of those numbers and dollars, but the spirit and the richness of the traditions and the heritage that you bring to our community really can't be measured at all. So, in conclusion, because I know there are more important people to hear from today, please know how appreciative I am and, uh, and the governor is of everything that the Chinese American community contributes to our state and has contributed throughout its history. Thank you very much and have a great afternoon.